Hi everyone, Mortgage Nerd here. Great piece of news just came out today. Refinances are up 87% from last year. So this time last year to now, refinances have almost doubled. Why do you think that is? Well, interest rates have dropped about 1%. I have clients that are dropping their interest rate about 1% now. One in particular that was just in a bad jumbo program it's dropping a rate over 2% from what it was 2017. So this is really good stuff. If you're in the market to refinance, I'd recommend you do it. I'm going to put out an old video that I did uh, with the debt consolidation tool. I'm going to put it out right after this one. And so go ahead and take a look at that because even if you're not dropping your rate that much, if you roll in some debts, it might really make it worth it. Thanks, Phil Stevenson, Mortgage Nerd. Hey everyone, Mortgage Nerd here. I uh, want to talk to you a little bit about a debt consolidation tool that we have. So is it worth going from a three point something rate up to a four or a five point something rate? Is it? Most people would say no immediately. Why would you do that? Well, there are cases where it is beneficial if you're rolling in other debt. So let's look at what I have here on uh, my software. So it's a debt consolidation uh, tool that we have. And so I'm able to punch in all of the information of the current mortgage, the debts, things like that. This is a case that I really want to show a couple of extremes. I want to show uh, a, a lot of debt that we're rolling into a small mortgage with a small interest rate. So if you see this column here on the left, the current, uh, the value, the loan balance, 69,000. They're on a 15 year mortgage, 3.875, and I'm off by a one one thousandth. Um, <clears throat> and we're looking at rolling in about 100,000 in debt into a 30 year mortgage at 4.75. You would say, why, why does that make any sense? That doesn't make sense, Phil. You're going from a 15 year to a 30 year, they barely owe anything. Normally thinking about it, it, it might, I would agree, but that's what I love about this software. While I visualize some of this in my head, it's hard for me to give that vision to, to my clients. So this tool helps me illustrate exactly what we're looking at. So if we go to the right side of this, the payment overview, this we're going to come back to actually. So let's go down here. <clears throat> this software tells us the front end ratio, back end ratio, loan to values. Is it going to work? Then we roll in all these debts. We see, okay, look at all these debts that this person has. So, you know, and we're a spending society. A lot of people have debt. So is it worth rolling everything in, getting rid of it? I can check off these and say, oh, sorry, wrong. I could check off these check marks here and include or not include. So by including the debts, I include it in the refinance. I'm rolling it into the loan. So by including all these debts that they have, they're going to save $2,168 a month. So over here, you see the proposed, what they're currently paying, principal and interest taxes and insurance, uh, their installment debt, and the revolving debt. So the principal interest taxes and insurance is going to go down. Part of that is because we're going from a 30 year to a 15 year. But if I even if I did this from a 30 year to a 30 year, I've done it before. It works. Um, their installment debt is lower because we're paying some of it off and they have no revolving debt. That's credit cards and stuff like that. But the installment debt that we did not pay is a second property is a condo. Actually, let me come back. So if you go down here without paying off that condo, that debt that they're reducing the monthly payment is 2168 so if you were to take that 2168 and pay it towards the new mortgage so your lifestyle now remains the same you're paying it towards the new mortgage remember they were kind of apprehensive they said 15 year why do we want to get rid of this if you pay all that money towards the new mortgage you're going to pay it off in five years and five months it says it right here new loan term five years five months of course, realistically, are they going to take that 2000 No, maybe put 1000 towards the mortgage, 1000 towards uh, your lifestyle. So let's just say that. Let's say additional monthly payment is 1000 so there they get 1168 to use 
towards their lifestyle, nine years and seven months to pay off the mortgage. Your increase in net worth here by refinancing is 143 because you're paying it off faster and you're getting rid of all these debts so your net worth goes up. Now, what if we paid off their condo as well? An investment property that's rented, that's getting income, but let's pay that one off as well. Let's see what happens when we include that. Boom, now they, their monthly savings is even better. Not by $580, but by $200. So they've improved their monthly cash flow, but if they put that 580 into their property, now they're paying off both properties essentially in six years and eight months. I think it's powerful. It's powerful to see this, to know that these tools exist, because then two things can happen. One, I can turn to you and say, look, it's not worth it. Don't, don't even do it. The other is we can say, look, look at all these options. Look, and you can visualize, even if you're not good at numbers, you're not good at mortgages and real estate, it doesn't matter. We can visualize it. We can work on this together. I could email this to you for you to look at. Uh, so it's a really good tool. I, I love using it with clients. And um, I'm going to give more examples of it in, in future videos. And we're also going to talk about, is it worth going from a convent, from an FHA loan to a conventional loan just to remove mortgage insurance premium because mortgage insurance premium never goes away on FHA loans. And uh, sometimes it is very well worth it. So thank you very much, Mortgage Nerd here, Phil Stevenson. I got a meeting later on today. It's not a gentleman's club, it's a gentleman's journal. Awesome place to be uh, to all my brothers that are, that are watching this. Thank you. And uh, 